Bizarreloop.com is proud to be sponsored by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's now offers coffee subscriptions. You can order a three, six, or 12-month subscription. You can choose from three collections, the Flavored Coffee Collection, the Roastmasters Collection, or the Disney Signature Coffee Collection. Each collection includes three bags per month. With the Joffrey's Coffee subscriptions, never run out of great coffee again. Learn more and order at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. The body of water that you see to the right of our forward motion is the Seven Seas Lagoon. The Seven Seas Lagoon is a man-made creation that took three years and the removal of millions of cubic yards of earth to complete. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. This is ResortLoop.com, the gateway to the magic. Today is a very magical day for us here at ResortLoop.com and across the country. It's National Coffee Day. And I would be remiss if on National Coffee Day, we did not talk to our sponsor, the head roastmaster, and the big guy in charge, Mr. Chris DeMezzo. Chris, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, Tim. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So how have you and the whole Joffrey's family been? We've been uh, trying to stay as busy as we possibly can, considering the circumstances. Um, with you know, certain segments are you know naturally uh, doing poorly, and there's mm-hmm. some others that have uh, you know thankfully remained constant. Um, like most other places, uh, our online uh, business has I think quadrupled. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so, that's keeping uh, the marketing and the uh, website uh, production department extremely busy. Mm-hmm. Um, and the rest of us are, you know, day by day getting, uh, you know, we're fortunate we're here in Florida and things are uh, opening up at a more rapid pace than elsewhere, other areas. So uh, we're fortunate, but, uh, you know, it's getting a little bit better. Every every week we see a little bit of improvement, so there's light at the end of the tunnel. That's always good when you can see that light, and as long as you know the curve is going the right way, yeah, you know you'll you get know, to yeah. we'll get to where we need to be. Yeah, and you know it helps that you still get to come in and do what you love every day. Um, not as much of it, but you still get to come in <laughs> and do what you love every day. Uh, we'll talk about your passion here soon enough because there's a couple things I really want to talk to you about. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> with everything going on, did you have to in- institute any new uh, protocols that you maybe never thought you'd have to do? Oh, um, <laughs> other than just kind of rearranging the whole production uh, oh, way we operate. No, not too much. <laughs> Oh, well, that sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it, you know, in some ways, it uh, it made you take a look at some of your operational practices, and you know, seeing if there was uh, ways to you know improve. Um, but you know, with the social distancing um, and having to space, you know, people out, um, naturally, we couldn't have all the same people at one time so we had to split some shifts up um and it created a little bit of uh because we had uh you know unfortunately we had to furlough some people and we had you know by seniority so you had some experienced employees that have never done certain tasks (laughs) mm -hmm, that had mm -hmm. you know moved departments so it was like retraining somebody that had been here for 10 years (laughs) so it was kind of it was kind of fun. Right. And we, we were talking before the show and you said that, uh, you know, while some office people in that, and you know, can work remotely, you have a lot of, uh, equipment, you know, roasting equipment there that you know, needs to be manned. Oh yeah. No, the production, uh, crew stayed intact. I mean, unfortunately we had some people that, you know, we had to furlough, but, uh, the main, you know, my roast master, uh, partner, Miguel, um, him and his team, you know, remained intact, and um, you know, most most of the production uh, stayed in, in place, and a, a lot of them uh, were moved from certain uh, production areas to the internet business because that business has, you know, uh, been extremely busy and remained constantly busy throughout. So, um, which has been good because it allows us to keep people 
um, working. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, we really, really do value uh, our people that, you know, have been with us for a long time and you know they buy into the program they know how important quality is and you know they also have that sense of urgency and you know dedication to you know making sure everything goes out of here right so uh, you want to keep those people oh absolutely you do because <laughs> you, you have a world-class product you have world-class people it just shows on both ends this is true <laughs> <laughs> so uh we know how how the whole i'm just kind of curious how COVID has affected you there? How's it affected? Has it had any kind of effect on like growers around the world, like how they're operating or anything along those lines? Oh, um, you know, it's affected different areas um, in different ways, naturally. Hmm. Um, you know, Brazil got hit awful hard. Um, whereas, you know, Colombia didn't get hit quite as bad. Uh, Guatemala was slow. Um in the beginning, but then, you know, they had a little bit of an outbreak and I think it's somewhat closed, uh, I guess slowed down. Uh, Peru got shut down completely. Um, Honduras had some, uh, you know, uh, hot spots in some of the cities. The main issue for a lot of them was labor. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to get, you know, with the social distancing and travel restrictions, you know, being able to get uh, the pickers because, you know, they're transient and they move around a lot. Um, so it was, uh, you know, a, a big hardship on them to be able to get uh, labor uh, to the places where they needed it. And then um, with the shutdown in commerce, uh, imports uh, slowed down. And, you know, a lot of these countries, uh, you know, basically export is their main business. So if they weren't importing anything, they were running out of shipping containers because there was no uh, containers coming in to be emptied that they could refill with coffee and send out. So uh, there was a backlog of uh, available shipping containers. Oh, wow. Um, and of course this year, you know, the weather has been favorable and uh, from everything that I'm seeing, uh, everybody's having, you know, the figures, you know, when uh, demand is down, uh, you know, the farmers that could really use a, a chance to catch up and really be able to, you know, make some money. Um, they're all having a really good year production wise and demand is down. <laughs> so it's like uh, um, not a good situation for them. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Is it something we think they'll rebound from just as, you know, eventually without much? Oh, ab well, absolutely. Oh, that's um, good. That's some good news. <laughs> yeah. You know, we still, um, you know, we're still, you know, uh, supporting them. And, uh, and the good thing is it's not like it's a tomato <laughs> so that, you know, there's a very uh, definite quick uh, shelf life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, there's, their time is on their side. Um, of course they can use the funds, you know, as quickly as possible, oh, but of course, uh, of course, that's good. Know, news. Thank goodness. Thank goodness that, you know, the product's not going to sit and spoil as long as, you know, we get back to some sort of normalcy, whatever that may be mm -hmm. uh, as quickly as possible. Right. On that good news. I thought this, I had to talk about this, Chris, this was, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, but you had partnered with uh, Make-A-Wish of Southern Florida. Yes. This was a great story. Do you want to tell us kind of what this was? Our president and CEO is uh, one of the officers of the local. And, um, you know, whenever we can, you know, directly uh, help in granting a wish for one of the wish kids, you know, Aww. definitely something that we're all, you know, very, very happy and anxious to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and this young man um, had uh, a debilitating illness that, you know, it was hard for him to be able to move around. Um, and what he, his wish was that he would be able to, you know, he lives in a, a pretty big uh, uh, property and his wish was uh, to be able to get around that property um, because he has uh, difficulty breathing and it's hard for him to walk or long distances. Mm -hmm. So um, 
we went ahead and uh, one of the uh, things that we do, we sponsor uh, walks and stuff like that, where we able to, you know, get a certain amount of money per per mile we walk, um, and you know other charitable charitable excuse me events that we do. Um, all to throw that money into the pool so that when the opportunity comes up to do something like this, we're able to do so. And what we did is we built him this customized golf cart where <laughs> he got in there and he can get in there with his wheelchair and his room for his dog <laughs> and um, the rest of his family in the back. And we got these really, really great videos of him uh, riding around now with his dog as his co-pilot and the rest of the family in back and he's driving around his property um, with a big smile on his face which makes it all worthwhile oh it does that's one of the things i love about joffrey's besides the fantastic coffees the amount you give back i mean you have your valor blend you have your wishmakers blend and then you do events like this or you know things like this and it's just fantastic and when you see <laughs> You know, I can talk about it, but when you see that look on his face and then, you know, he was driving it around our parking lot um, and, you know, it was just, uh, you know, something that you really, um, you know, makes all makes it worthwhile. You yes. feel really, really good about being able to do something like that for for somebody that, you know, really, really appreciates it and needs it. Right. I shared it uh, at the time, but I'll put it in the show notes for the show so everybody wants to see it and go back and look at it because that was just beautiful. Yeah, it was uh, very, very rewarding. We like seeing that. <laughs> also, Chris, I want to talk about your latest masterpiece. People have been raving about the new Riviera blend. That was uh, one of those ones where, you know what, you kind of got it right on the first try. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Um but, you know, I sat down with Miguel and I said, you know, because of, you know, we were speaking earlier about what, uh, you know, different uh, difficulties from different origins. So when I sat down with Miguel, I said, OK, you know, what coffees are we not going to have any kind of a problem with, you know, for the next for the foreseeable future mm -hmm. where, you know, the supply lines have pretty much remained open Um and luckily for us that a couple of the ones that I had in my in my mind that I wanted to use, um, you know, fell into that category. And then, um, you know, started to put the blend together. And, you know, I had the, that was a unique opportunity because, you know, I've been really busy with doing running around. But that was the last probably the last property that I visited before um, this whole debacle uh, took place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, I've been around Disney for longer than I'd like to admit. And when I went into that resort, um, I was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And of course, I went up to the restaurants and, uh, you know, uh, I'm greeted by a few old friends of mine I've, I've known for years that are working there. But I mean, walking around that resort, it's like palatial. It, it's really, really nice. Um, so when I sat down, you know, to do this blend, I'm like, OK, we got to make a blend that's worthy of this resort. <laughs> right. It can't be just any, you know, type of coffee. It has to be something that's worthy of, uh, you know, being served in a place this nice. Can you um, describe a, I saw it's a dark coffee. It is. Um, but again, you know, I never roast real, real dark. Mm -hmm. I prefer to leave the flavor of my coffee in the coffee versus sending it up the smokestack. Um, so one of the things that, you know, I'm very proud of and, you know, um, I've passed that on to my partner, Miguel, is that, you know, we know how to take coffee right to the peak, um, right on the edge, but never over the edge mm -hmm. of uh, being able to give you that nice, robust, dark roast flavor, but never, ever the slightest hint of bitterness or astringency. Um, so we're able to coax, you know, whatever desired flavors we're, we want out of those beans 
without going too far and having you lose the flavor nuances that really make that coffee special. So, you know, we're talking about the Riviera blend. You're getting that nice dark roast smokiness, um, that nice full bodied uh, feel on your palate. But at the same time, it's still, you know, retains natural sweetness and you're still getting a little bit of the nice red ripe fruits out of it, um, which is really, you know, if you like coffee, it's something that's going to please you versus, oh, it's not strong enough or, oh, it's too strong. And, you know, it's right, you know, it's all things to all people. So it's been uh, very well received. That's the feedback very, I've been getting. Nice uh, compliments from uh, some of our customers that were kind enough to write to us and let us know. Because if they don't do that, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> right. So before we wrap here, because I, I know we got other things, uh, not other things. Before we wrap here, um, we won't let you go because I know you're very, very busy. But I want to mention your new subscription program. Also, you've got running room. Yeah, that's something that. Uh, you know, we kept getting requests from uh, customers and, and, you know, finally, uh, you know, Gio, Giovanni, our marketing director, uh, finally sat down and, and came up uh, with a plan that, uh, you know, again, from the feedback that we're getting has been extremely well received. And, you know, a lot of it's, you know, there's a lot of specialty restaurants and we've created all these unique specialty blends for them. And it's a way for people to be able to enjoy, um, you know, coffee from different resorts or restaurants that maybe they don't have the opportunity to be able to uh, to visit. So they get a little bit of the taste of that restaurant um, in the comfort of their own home. And it's nice to know it's coming. So you don't have to worry about, you know, I'm, I'm running low, but then you know another one's going to come out. Because you have mm -hmm. three, three different collections. you got the Disney Signature Coffee Collection, your Flavored Coffee Collection, and then the Roast Masters Collection, which sounds like it's handpicked by you. Yes. Uh, one of those things that I've been driving poor Gio crazy, but I wanted to, uh, you know, I travel all over the world. Uh, I've been working with, you know, different farms and farmers for many, many years now. Um and I want to highlight, you know, some of their efforts, um, and I want to share them with our our, our customers and uh, let them, you know, be able to experience, you know, all that great hard work and dedication that these farmers put into what they're doing. Because again, I'm reliant. We are reliant upon them. If they don't grow great coffee, we can't roast great coffee. So. Uh, it's you know it's a great honor to be able to present um, what they're what they do um, to our guests and let them uh, enjoy some of these great coffees from some of these wonderful beautiful origins that we go to year after year um, searching for that perfect cup. I think that's that's an awesome way to do it. I think the roast master is blend. Also, Chris, as we mentioned today, September 29th, National Coffee Day, and you have a couple one-day specials that we want to get out there real, real quick. Make sure some people can capitalize on these. Yes, I'm going to uh, read. I'm going to read these so we make sure we get them. <laughs> we get them for you. <laughs> In the parks, one dollar coffee all day, just September 29th. Fantastic! You get free latte art at the, the famed Ripple at Disney Springs. So the latte art is that the little fancy thing on the top of the coffee. Yep, a oh. little design. Yes, love those. The website special, yes. Buy three bags of coffee, you get one free. That's a that's a deal. I don't care how you cut it. <laughs> <laughs> the code is buy three, get one. That'll be in the show notes, so you can take care of that. Chris, are we able to announce today the new flavored coffee I have in my notes? Uh -huh. I don't see why not. <laughs> we'll say it. If Gio says it's wrong, we'll take it out. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> you go right ahead. I want you to have the exclusive. I, are you sure? Because I feel like I should have you do it. Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> but I do feel kind of giddy that you're letting me do it. <laughs> the new flavored coffee, inspired by tastes like a French apple crumb cake, is called Nana's Apple Crumb Cake. Tell me about this coffee. It took, you know what? Miguel and I were, were teasing one another um, 
It's exactly what it sounds like. Mm. <laughs> they were asking us for flavor notes, and we're you know we're drinking, and we're like, it tastes like grandma's apple pie. <laughs> oh, that sounds fantastic. Got it's got you know everything you know. It's got that little hint of cinnamon. It's got some you know caramel, um, naturally apple. Mm -hmm. um, with those, you know, those apple pie spice notes, if that makes any. Uh, but uh, you know, we we were joking with one another. It's like, you know, just tell them what exactly what it is, right. and that's what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, that'll be one of my buy three get ones that I put in my order for tomorrow or today. I'm sorry, today on National Coffee Day, September 29th, 2020. <laughs> we're trying to wordsmith it and you know we're really good with describing regular coffees but you know when we come to flavored coffees we get all tongue-tied yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh chris thank you very much for joining us today and, th and thank always a pleasure talking to you oh and thank you for letting me announce the coffee. I'm really so excited by that. <laughs> well, this this way, if we weren't supposed to do it, Gio's going to be mad at you and not me. There so you go. I don't tear your motor. I understand totally. <laughs> oh, everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. Facebook, Twitter, the website uh, resortloop.com. Always follow uh, joffreys.com. They've got tons of blog posts over there and fantastic things. New coffee, the sale today only. Buy three, get one. Everybody, you've been listening to the Gateway to the Magic. We'll see you, everybody. Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com.